Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Dante Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the DC Multiverse Grim Knight uh, Batman. Uh, so this one I think looks really cool. Uh, so here's the front for you. Here's the side. And then here's the back with that card uh, art there that will come with. Here's the other side, not much going on there. Right, here's the top, not much. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack this guy open. And here's the Grim Knight, uh, the packaging here. So let's go over his accessories first. So first he came with his card. And there's the picture that was in the back there for you. Uh, and then here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read this, you can. Um, like I said in the other videos, not a really high valued card material. I'm, I'm more into like the thicker uh, cards that they've been giving us before, but I'm guessing people have just been using them as throwing cards and getting injuries or whatever. I don't know. And then in the next part, he has this little SMG here. Looks really cool. I think we've seen this before. I'm not quite sure. Something like this before. I, I know that, but looks really good nothing real special about it besides it has two grips on it so i'm not sure if you're able to have him hold it with two hands but we'll see here in a bit um and then he comes with this little grenade launcher this one's really cool it's really big and bulky it looks real cool uh just nothing real special about it besides the look here all black so and then he also has this little display here We've seen these before. It has a little DC logo varnish there. So that's cool. And then the one part that I'm not real excited about was this. I thought these were actual going to be like actual guns that you would just port on his back. But instead it's just a little accessory that you would have to attach to his back. So it's nothing it, like it's not, you can't even use them for his hand uh, for him to hold them. I thought it was just two guns that was attached to him in the promos. I meant not the promos, the actual pictures, but it's just a little accessory, I guess. Not Nothing that you would actually hold in his hand. So, yeah, but it has this little port there. So, you just go on his back like this. It has that little port there. Plug it in like that. And then, bam, you have him holding that. So that's cool. I'm taking it off because now we're gonna go over how he looks. Whoops. All right, so here he is from the front. I meant the face, sorry. But they did a really good job on the face or head sculpt here. It looks a lot like Batman. So just like any normal Batman, looks really cool. Um, and then he has this like little scarf thing there around his neck. They did a really good texturing there. Uh, and then you have all these belts and mags and stuff like that. You have that pistol there in this holster. Another one right here. Mags right here. Uh, more utility. A uh, little bag for him right there. And then his utility belt with another pistol right there. And then another one right here. And then some other cool gadgets around his belt. So that's cool. Uh, and then you get a white bat actually right here. So yeah, they, I like the texturing for this guy a lot. They did really good. Uh, and then you have these gauntlets. They have two little spikes coming out of there instead of three. But I think the only one that, I've, well, I don't have the other Batman, like that detective one or an animated series one. I only have the Arkham Knight one at the moment, but yeah. And then, so these are look cool. This one's uh, more of a gray instead of like dark. I mean, a little bit black, I guess you would say. I guess it's black and these are gray. On uh, the hands, they're just for holding this gun, the guns. So yeah, 
And then you get these like utility pans with D-pads here with a bat logo on them. That's cool. And you get them screws into the knees, knee, uh, knee pads there. And you get other little pouches on his thigh to hold his mags. And then knives, uh, knives, Ooh, sorry, I can't talk. And then you also have these boots, which I think look real cool, especially with these here, like on his arms, they have two little spikes coming out of them. So that's cool. And you can use them for like kicking people in the face to the side. So like doing like a little backwards kick towards them. So that's pretty cool. I uh, don't know why my thing keeps moving up like that. Um, but besides that, that's it. So let's go over his articulation. So first his head can move down that far up, not a whole lot. I guess that's the problem with a lot of their figures is that it doesn't move up a whole bunch, but uh, his shoulders can move out way past 90 degrees, which is really good. Uh, you get 360 rotation in his uh, shoulder. I think, yeah, he has a butterfly joint, so you get him to go back that far and then forward a little bit. Uh, he has a biceps, whoa, that's new. Uh, well, instead of doing the swivel, it's a shoulder that's rotating like that, but he does have a bicep swivel too. Uh, you get double, oh, a double joint elbows. Uh, his wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, because this kind of gets in the way, I guess. Uh, and then you can rotate it and do like side to side instead now. So that's cool. Uh, and then I think, yeah, he has a ball joint at the top here. So you can go forward a bit like that. You get him to go backwards a bit or a lot, I mean, and then side a bit, the other side. And he has another one at the hips. So you get him to go forward a bit. I guess this is the same as la uh, the other time that I just did it. And then backwards a whole bunch. That's insane. That's cool. Um, and then the side all the way like that. That's cool. The other side, same. Uh, his legs can kick out a pretty darn close to 90 degrees. Uh, kick forward, pretty good. Normal amount. Backwards, quite a bit. More than normal figures. Uh, he has double jointed knees there. So that's good. Cool and good. Whoops. I can't keep stuttering over my words. Um, and then the ankles are the same as the wrists. So you can, they hinge down that far up a bit, ankle pivot. And then if you want to have them going off to the side, just rotate it. And then you should be able to do that, but I'm not going to do it at the moment. But besides that, that's it for articulation. So that's all I've got. Um, this guy is a really cool figure i like them a lot the only thing that really disappointed me was this piece i thought there would be a bunch more guns they can use but apparently not i'm actually surprised they didn't do at least give us a pistol that you could put in a holster or something like this but it's in there so you can't take them out or anything like that um but besides that the articulation the looks are really cool it's just mainly this kind of disappointed me and then also like the like we could have had a pistol and you can given us like the holster to put it in at least, but oh well, but uh, this figure is really cool, uh, but that's it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it, um, more camera, better camera equipment, uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, I, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, 
uh, sports videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.